Hey everybody, what is up? Happy Sunday. How are you guys doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all, Lord Jesus. Hang on, let me get all this straight. Let me get all this straight. What's up, what's up, what does that say? Do you want me in the video? Oh, it says, do I want to tag you? No, we ain't got to tag you. You want me to tag you? You're going to take your glasses off so we can see your face? No, because then I can't read the comments. Oh, you want to read the comments tonight? What is up, everybody? How is it going? Okay, y'all, listen. Y'all see that face? <laughs> y'all do me a favor. As you're hopping on, say hello in the comments below. Okay, y'all know how this goes. Just drop hello, what's up, how's your Sunday going, all of those good things. Um, no. No, go get ready for bed, as a matter of fact. Anyway, so what are y'all up to? How's it going? Y'all, we have been working on, um, what, what have you been working on? I've been working on the laundry room. Why you gotta say I? We are in this together. Oh, are we? Yes, your hard work equates to mine. I mean, do y'all agree or do y'all agree? Um, we have been working on this house. Hey, Ashley, what's up? We've been working on this house. Y'all, my bad, I'm Erica Michelle Best. Your mentor, our ignition switch, igniting you to be the best of you. And this is the man behind the madness, my husband, Michael Best. What is up, Tyler? How's it going? Um, what is up, Nicole? Hello, hello. We have been working on the house, even though he's going to say I have been working on the house, as in him alone by himself. Um, and I just think it's funny because, like, things seem so simple to me. And I'm like, I don't understand why it takes this long to just, like, cut some strips of wood and, like, mount it on the, on the wall. Hey, Crystal, what's up? And mount it on the wall. And he, like, has spent the last, like, three days, in, like, with that look, like, he's going to go into a homicidal rage. So, here's our tips for, you know, when you're married and doing a do-it-yourself project. That's what we're going to bring to y'all tonight. Have y'all ever, who's done a do-it-yourself project? Who's worked on something around the house, like, rebuilt something or made it or changed a room around or redecorated or, like, whatever? Who has done a do-it-yourself project? Because it's stressful. Mm-hmm. You go, go ahead. Why is it stressful for you? It's already stressful when <laughs> you're, especially when, you know, if a guy likes to, to build stuff and make stuff, he wants to get it right. You want to get it right. You want it done correctly. And to be honest with you, at the end of the day, when all the stuff is done, I'm not going to care what color it's painted. <laughs> I'm not going to care what goes on top well, of it. Well, that's just me. Stop. Hang on. I'm going to care that when I set a level on it, the bubble's right in the middle. I'm going to, I'm going to make, I want my measurements to be precise. I want there to be cuts and I want oh, everything to butt up together. God. I don't want there to be gaps. I don't want there to be like, I, I was looking at everything and obviously hey, whenever you are doing something, you are noticing everything that is wrong, right? Is that what you did? Oh, yeah. I was sitting there looking at everything that... And the only thing I noticed wrong was that big old chunk of wood. Like, you didn't have... Like, you missed, like, measured, like... It was, like, eight inches of space where Thank you, you missed... Thank you, yes. Yeah, I didn't put that up. You had to recut... You had to go get more shiplap, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. This is what happens when you're burned out, tired, and you're just ready to be done is you get sloppy and you don't pay attention. Well, see, Nicole agrees with you. She said it needs to be perfect. Yes. And it helps to hold the criticism until <laughs> way, I was not way even criticizing. Later. I was just asking questions. Why way do you later. get so offended by a question? All I asked was, how did it you... It depends on the question. I said, how did you misgauge that much of the measurement? Because it was like that much. <laughs> I don't and like. You got mad. I don't like answering questions that I don't know the answer to. So why not just say I don't know? Why ask me questions like that? Because it was like. Do I'm you? Like, let me ask you something. Do y'all ask your husbands questions like, 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 like that? Why would you? Why, why did you do that? If you, Drop a if hand you, raise in the comments below if you ask your husband questions like, why would you do that? Or why, why, why did would you, you do, do that? Look, it, at the end of the day, right, I don't care about the why for the most part, right? I care about the why because I'm she trying to She always understand. cares about the why. Because I'm just I to just, understand. It was just a mistake. I just made a mistake. That was it. 
I was tired. I was not paying attention. Matter of fact, I mismeasured that piece of shiplap, and then I went outside, and I ruined two more pieces. You ruined two more pieces? But Yeah, mismeasuring those as well. What are we going to do with those? Uh, I don't know. So the not other much. day, Michael was working on this laundry room for like six hours. It was not even close to six hours. It was. You left at like no, 2 No, no, <laughs> no. How long was it? It was a couple of hours. It was like maybe, it might have been two, two and a half hours. It was like four or five hours. Okay. Anyway. Y'all listen to her. Ask her to show up somewhere on time, see what time she gets there, and then you <laughs> could gauge whether or not she could tell time right. I can tell time. Anyway, so he had been working for like, yes, <laughs> why would you do that? So he had been working for like four or five hours, whatever. He says two, but it was longer than two hours. I said two, I said two, two and a half. It may have been two and a half or three. But it was nowhere asked, near six hours. She said she look. I do too. That's right. That's what, yes. I'm sorry I don't know you, but that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he had been working for several hours. We'll just, we'll just say several hours here because we're going to agree to disagree. Okay? I'm going to agree to be, I'm going to agree to be right. I'm just going to disagree with you. And you are just like your dad. Y'all have the same personality. <laughs> I like your new change and I think all... Girls, oh yes, follow you and got and get inspired for what you did. Oh, thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate that. Okay, so anyway, so it was like several hours or whatever, and I go in there and I didn't even mean it. <laughs> I didn't even mean it the way he took it, but he took it real bad. Okay, because I'm like, I go in there and there, and I'm like, that's it. That's all you got done. No, no, like, no, no, woman. No, no, no. She goes, what have you been doing all day? Oh, that's right. That's what that's I said. all you got done. And I was like, are you serious? She goes, yeah. It was like two pieces of shiplap. That was it. It was more than, first of all, it was more than two pieces. No, it wasn't. It was literally just the bottom two. No, it was not. It was. That's four pieces of shiplap down there that you saw. How big is the shiplap? Like, how, how thick is the it shiplap? It was, it was, okay, so everybody it was two knows. Strips. Okay, so, uh, yes, the, yes, and one strip does not make it all the way down to the other end. That was four pieces of shiplap that you saw. I was having to make hey, Renee. some cuts. I had, okay, I had to cut out around a power outlet. Go ahead, tell them what happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Celeste said perfection no, takes time. That's exactly right, thank you very much. I was trying to take my time because I didn't want, because when I'm at home and I, and I, <laughs> oh, get, Renee, on these, I, I get on these tears where I'm trying to get stuff done, but like my last couple of days home and I start getting really sloppy. I stop, you know, I don't pay attention to what I'm doing or, huh? Go ahead. Okay. So. The cuts are for real though. <laughs> Jay said the cuts are for real though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yes. And you have to overlay the shiplap. I was having to cut out. Y'all, I like disappear two all of a sudden. This chair is about to break. That or I just knocked her out. <laughs> um. <laughs> See, marriage counseling. So. But no, I mean, any, if you've ever put up sheetrock or wallpaper or anything strips. like yeah, that, it, and you it was had four to, hours and just two long strips, and that was it. And so, of course, I was like, "What have you been doing all day?" Because he had been working all day long. I had not been. He had working gone to the store. Long. He had gone to the store, and I think part of his frustration is he ended up taking the boys to the store with him, which. No, I didn't. They anyway, were fine so, for the first hour and a half that we were there. Why did it take you so long at the right, store? I don't know. Why did it, Miss? Can you go look at this? And can you go look at that? <laughs> and here's another picture. And ooh, I like this. Who are you talking about? <laughs> we were trying to. Y'all saw my post. I was trying to come up with ideas on what to put behind the cabinets in the laundry. We room. already I didn't had know a if plan. I wanted to do shiplap cedar, and then. Somebody came up with the idea to do like the still and pick contact, still contact paper, pill and stick, <laughs> pill and stick contact paper, like on the back. It would be so super simple and blah blah. I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. Like it would be easy and simple. And he's like at the store trying to FaceTime me because of course I'm here with Nala, and he's like at the store trying to FaceTime me and everything. So I mean, you weren't at the store that long. I was at the store for like for over two hours. I was at the store for way over two hours. Why is your time always off? Because it's you. 
That was my fault. Yes. I control time. No, you don't control time. You just have no control over how you perceive time and how much time has gone by. I made the bed for 45 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I didn't make your sign. <laughs> So, so he went to the store, he came back, yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, it was like four or five hours. He was out there cutting, going back and forth, in and out of the house, like all these things, and there was just literally two strips of wood. So, of I course, get, I was like, like, what have you been doing all I didn't day? get back home till like three, no, it was like two o'clock, I got back home. Then I had to leave the house, go back up to the store to get uh, some Because you got the wrong thing. Screw. No, I didn't get the wrong thing. You did. I had to get some You got screws. the cedar, remember? You had to go back and take back to get shit black. Yeah, I got, the, okay, yes, I got the cedar. Painted the cedar. So you made a lot of mistakes. All that stuff. Then had to go back to the <laughs> store, exchange the shiplap for just the, the regular seat. smooth shiplap that was already primed. And then I had to go back to the store again and get some screws for the outlets. So I didn't get So it was a legitimate get, question when I said, what I didn't get doing all day? <laughs> she, for some reason, is thinking that I had been working on this shiplap since before I went to the store. And I, and I had it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was like two hours. Anyway, it took a long time, and she started her con the conversation with, "What have you been doing all day? Is this it? Could you imagine putting <laughs> like half a day into a meal that you're preparing for your husband, and he comes home and he, did, he so takes awesome. a bite of it and he goes, "Why didn't you use Tony Sachery's or you know?" Let him bring Whatever. his salt inside. That's what my husband wants me to allow. No, because we have a Tarzan. No, no, no. We have a Tarzan and we have a Micah. And Micah thinks he knows everything and will like get to picking up stuff and messing with stuff. Yeah. And we'd be done had half our house sawed in half. Yeah. They would be like wreck it Ralph in here with a saw. I don't have a room. It, it, now, if I had like a, you know, a, a, work a, a work room that I could make a shop inside the house, I would do that because then I would just wire in. See, we need a big everything. house. I would just wire them. I would just wire in everything to where you could, you know, flip a switch or whatever. Stop spinning and me around. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not spinning you around. <laughs> you were so funny. <laughs> so we need a bigger house. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. So we can put a shop inside. And then I can have an office. I can just put a shop outside. Oh, okay, whatever. Then the you garage can be my shop. Okay, well, the garage is already your shop. It's a hot mess. Yep. Okay. I can barely park in the garage. Yeah. So, oh, Tabitha and them are redoing their bathroom, and her stories have been funny. We've been we've been messaging messaging each other, talking about these husbands of ours. Yeah. And the mistakes. It happens. <laughs> it happens. What okay? I'm trying to figure out is why I'm would you not... put the wood up? Why would you put the wood up before you painted it? That's what. That's all I want to know. Because your hands get dirty, you have to go out there, you have to cut it, you have to bang on it with a hammer sometimes you got to pull the nails out if you paint it you're all you're going to do is just muck it up well that's what we get ready to do with the wall when we try to paint it while it's on the wall is muck up the wall well the whole wall is covered and if you would actually take your time and put some effort i don't into, have time put some effort into well, doing it right I, I spend all my time keeping your tiny humans alive not when i'm home oh here you go with this again I, I also have a business. Okay. Oh my God, Renee. Congratulations, Renee. Congratulations. Y'all, okay. Interject. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot my brain just went. We need some counseling, y'all. Drop your drop your um your tips in the comments below for how to survive the DIY. Okay. But first and foremost, oh my god, go it's end of the month. Um it's end of the month. My phone is going to die here pretty soon, but whatever. It's end of the month, and I have two team members that freaking promoted this month. I'm so freaking excited for them. Renee is on here. Congratulations, Renee. I just wanted to shout that out. Ah, I'm, so, I'm so super excited. I cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait to shout you out tomorrow. Anyway, okay. So now that's that's done. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm just saying if you would, if you would be a little more subtle or in your language, things might not get so out of hand. What language? Well, when I you're when you're talking to somebody, don't walk up and go, "What have you been doing?" I, I didn't say it like that. I was like, "What have you done all day?" Just like a what? real true curiosity question. Yeah. Hey, Randy, what's up, girl? Oh my God, I just shouted out Renee for going bronze. Lisa isn't on here, but I'm excited for Lisa too. Anyway, we're talking from house rehab to marriage rehab. Mm. 
I mean, you literally. The thing that drives me. Like, y'all, is that offensive? The thing that drives me. Is that offensive? The thing that drives me the nuts drives me nuts the most though is that it actually has nothing to do with, remod- the thing with that, remodeling the house. What's the thing that drives you nuts? What happened? <laughs> what does that agitate you so Why much? Why can't you just stop asking? It's, I mean, Welcome to the party! Seriously. Y'all, Mike was the only person I know who gets <laughs> agitated. Who gets agitated. Like if he hits himself, like he bumps his head or something and you're like, oh my god, what happened? He legitimately gets I'm raped. I get angry. Like, okay. I mean, like, used to, it used to irritate angry. me, right? The first 597,462 times, I got irritated. Now, yes, I get angry because, oh my God, I hit my head. Well, how did you do that? Why does it matter? I don't want to relive it. <laughs> Leave it alone. Move on to something else. This is not going to impact your day. I mean, I don't you want to know what happens when somebody hits their head? Or, like, don't you want to oh, know? Oh, well, maybe I should give you another opportunity is to make really fun Tabitha? of me for Why do you think I want to make fun of you? Wait, there's true, genuine concern. Not when you're laughing. Did you, <laughs> did you, did you, did, did you hit your head again? <laughs> what, what happened? <sighs> yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. If I smash my thumb with a hammer, right? Don't ask me what happened. I smashed my thumb with I'm a hammer. I'm in a whole nother room, though. I'm in a whole entirely different room, so of course I don't know what happened. And I'm trying to determine: do we need to go to the emergency That's room? That's fine. I will tell you. Do I need to go get some duct tape? To to the do I need room? to call nine one one? Is this like a you got a nail <laughs> no, in your shoulder, no. hey, or like a I'm happened? just irritated Nothing. and got like a little surface scratch? Do we need a tetanus shot? Do we like what? Do, what needs to happen? So I need to ask these questions. I'm a mom. Is what I do. If I'm in the other room and I hear God, uh, 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 and you're just so freaking animated with it, of <laughs> course somebody's gonna be like, "What happened?" And that's when I say nothing. Don't worry about it. And then I'm that's fine. agitating. I'm d- don't worry about so it. So you had all them freaking Not, and, and then and then she's like, she's like, "What happened?" And then, you yeah, and then I can that. hear her. I can hear her laughing through the wall. Did you hit your head again? <laughs> Now I'm now now she figured to get silent treatment. Now I'm I'm about to say nothing for like three weeks. Hey, my laundry room. No. Uh, I, <laughs> my laundry room is done. I'm okay. I ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all, I mean, I just don't understand. Mike is rolling. <laughs> Brother-in-law's rolling. I, you know, I mean, I just don't understand. Do y'all get upset and offended when somebody tries to check on you to see if you're hurt? See, this is the difference. She between doesn't check on no. no, no, hurt no, myself. No. I can literally. It can sound no. like like the kitchen just fell freaking completely apart and I'm in there going ow 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 and Michael is in the room just scrolling on, on Facebook just scrolling he don't even come check on me he don't right. even come check you don't even ask you okay yeah I right, babe ow I've fallen and I can't get up Micah go help your mom <laughs> you're so right you're just mean <laughs> You got two big ass dogs. You, they can, what they gonna do? I don't know. You can just crawl over here and let them out of the kennel, and they can, you can just use one of them. <laughs> pick yourself up. I'm just saying that's not true. She's oh, I, I'm exaggerating, and she's exaggerating. I do check on her. I will ask her, "Are you all right?" I don't respond to calamity with calamity, right? So I don't run over. For the people in the back, what's calamity mean? Chaos? What's calamity mean? Calamity? Mm-hmm. I don't know the specific definition. I just know how it's used. Oh, okay. So if I hear a bunch of commotion. I want somebody to check on me too, Randy. That's what I'm saying. Come check on a sister. Get like, life come alert. Come make sure I'm not bleeding half to death in the kitchen. Get life alert. I'm not old enough for life alert. When I got a husband in the next room. I, I'm just saying. So you get mad when somebody check on you and then have the audacity to not go check on nobody else because you get mad when somebody check on you. Well, I mean, why, would I, do, why would I do something why to somebody so else that makes, that makes why me Why does mad? somebody asking you why offend you so deeply? It doesn't offend me. It's, it doesn't offend me. I'm like, I don't... Did you just I, clutch your pearls? I don't clutch my pearls, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm not like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> no, it literally makes me mad. It makes me mad. I'm not offended. I'm not irritated. I'm not annoyed. <laughs> I am mad. Right? Mad? I'm already mad because I hit my head. Right? Got, look, y'all look. I'm like Tim Allen from Home Improvement. Okay? <laughs> I'm hitting my head about four times a day on something. I mean, something. he's legit on that. Okay? The, either the car, 
the the vent hood on the oven. Doesn't matter the what dining it is. room light. Got, and see, she knows. <laughs> see that she already knows. She already. Knows. I'll be cooking something and I go to look at it and hit my head every time, every time. So she hears that. What happened? Did you hit your head again? Yeah. Already knowing that I'm mad that I hit my head in the first place, right? Because you feel like an idiot, right? You feel like a complete dumbass since you just hit your head, right? You're thinking, you know, I know there's a wall there, right? I don't know why <laughs> I just leaned too far forward at mock speed, you know? I don't know why I was try trying to travel through time with my head and ran into the wall. <laughs> what happened? You know what happened! <laughs> Y'all see what I gotta live with. That's why I get mad. Y'all see what I Because she live already with. knows what happened. She just, I, I don't know. At this point, I think she's I will be to in the other me. room. I don't know if it's a kid. I don't or know if I it's just, a or I say nothing. She say, hey, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Did you hit your head again? Well, the moment you say nothing, I know, okay, not done. Right. Like, he but she head. presses and me. And then it's just leaving But she presses me. At that point. At, right. After I say nothing, she already knows I didn't hurt myself. She already knows I didn't. Hit my head or walked into a ceiling fan or whatever. And she'd be like, what happened? Just tell me what happened. Stella said she's laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just want to know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm inquisitive. I'm absolutely inquisitive. Okay? Mock speed. Curious. <laughs> <laughs> he be coming up with words, y'all. Like, I Curiosity think he reads the dictionary before he hops on live with me. Like, kind of like when he hops on Pinterest before we have a cook-off to see what kind of special ingredients he could add so he can try to beat me. I didn't get on Pinterest to do that. I, I don't, don't know need, what you I did. don't need Pinterest. You did something because you to tell me how to cook meat. So anyway, so that this is cheap. how our, and this is just the laundry room, y'all. This is all just the laundry room. I think he, are you done? Are you finally done? Well, we have to paint, but uh, with the wood and the cuts and all that, I've, uh, well, everything above the floating shelf, I'm done. So, uh, I guess if y'all look in your laundry room, they take these prefab pieces of plastic and slide them in. Uh, around like uh, around your where your washer and dryer hook up and stuff oh, like the, that. Oh, the like hoses. Yeah, but uh, those I I've got those, but I'm not gonna put them back in. Um, I actually I built like a little picture frame uh, of trim to go around. The, oh, uh, can you build me some picture frames for my radar show? Squirrel. <laughs> anyway, does that mean yeah? I don't know. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to trim out those little pieces. Um, so what we got to do tomorrow? Uh, I can do that, but I've got to work in the garage. I've, I've, got, I'm gonna build, I've, I've got some big shelves in the garage, and I need to make smaller shelves. Tabitha said they're almost done with their remodel from hell. You got any tips for them? She was, Travis was over the toilet. She was standing on the toilet, and he looked like he was underneath. It was, it was funny. It was funny. It's been bad. <laughs> um... Oh, and I think she flooded the bathroom, too. Yeah, don't rub salt in an open wound. How did I rub salt in an open wound? That's what you do every time you ask me what happened. I'm just saying. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, no, you asked me if I had any tips. I was just saying don't rub salt in an open wound. I know, but how do I do that? I don't do that. <laughs> how, do, how do I do that? Just by asking you what happened? By knowing the answer to questions that you ask. I need confirmation. I can assume what happened, but I don't know. I'm not in the room. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y'all help me out. So how many, how many years of counseling are you going to need after this laundry room rehab? It looks nice, though. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm proud of it. You, you should be with all that precision. Oh, my God. When that day when I was like... Like, what have you done all day? And he was like, woman. He was like, this is precision cutting. This is precision. And I'm like, then why you got to go back for some more pieces? It's so precise. That, the other day, I didn't mess up. The other day, I was taking my time, making sure. And not to mention, I've got, I've got three different saws that I'm using. I've got two different types of measuring device. I got a measuring tape and I got a measuring stick, right? And then you got to figure out which side of the line you want to cut on and where the pencil goes. Which See, side this of the is why line. I don't build things because I, mean, I would literally just cut and hang and then I'd fix it as I went. You can't just fix it as you go. You can. No, you cannot. Every person that's ever built a house has done exactly that after they built the house and found all the mistakes the builder made. They just fix it as they go. Like our crooked wall. The crooked, I, yeah, I can't fix that. I know. 
I can't. I I can hide it. Exactly. That that's not the same thing. It's kind of my point. Though. No, that's hide. two different conversations. But you can hide like no, the little mistakes it, you make. Say what you mean to me. What you say. <laughs> Fixing stuff as you go is not the same as hiding it as you find it. <laughs> Those are two different statements. It's the same thing. No, it is not. See, this is why it's impossible to argue with women, right? Because you will think that you're talking about one thing and they're actually talking about another thing and you're responding to what it is that they actually said, but they're talking about what they meant, right? And they're responding to what you said and what you meant. But I say what I mean. So you're three steps behind in the conversation From right the very now. Start. <laughs> right. This, I'm telling you, it, it's, it's impossible. Measure twice, cut once. Yes, thank you very much. I've never heard that before. Have you not? Or are you being sarcastic? I'm being sarcastic. Oh, okay. I, I think she's just... Yeah, offering tips. I, I don't think she was offering a tip. I think she was just... She's being funny. <laughs> yeah. When you find it, say what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the same page, Erica. See, I say what I mean. No. You respond to what you think I mean, though, no, instead of what I, no, it is I'm actually saying. No, I respond to what you say, and you respond to what you, with what you meant. That's not true. Yeah. No, because I say I speak too clearly. I always say what I mean. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to say I'm lying? No. You trying to say I'm delusional? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little of how that went y'all we're still on the mend we're working it out we think we're gonna make it the laundry room is somewhat done i gotta paint and then i get to decorate in travis's case he he measures 15 times and cuts 15 times <laughs> there's a lot of measure i was the other day when i was doing the light fixture or the 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 power outlets and all that having to cut around all that I was measure. I was having to measure like four times, and I mean, yes, measure twice, cut so once. She said but, about five thousand seven hundred sixty-eight trips to Lowe's. How many trips you make to Home Depot? Oh, oh God, it's been every day. <laughs> it's been Several every, times a day. Yeah, yeah. I, I walk in and they're just like, all Dave, Dave, Mike's here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Just get another cart. Just, just give him my hand. All right. You know, first thing. Get off that forklift, bud. Mike needs it. <laughs> <laughs> First name basis. Y'all, let me tell you something. When you are doing a DIY project with your spouse, designate some jobs to each other, okay? My job was just to stay the heck out of the way, period. I mean, I did laundry while he was standing on top of the, la the washing machine and the dryer. Yeah. And I'd make him get off and so I can swap everything over or whatever. But designate jobs. Each person have a different job and stay out of each other's way. Legit. That's kind of what I started doing is I just went and sat on the couch. Just waited for it to all be done. Let me tell you how much that helps. When you're, <laughs> when you're working your butt off and you keep walking by and, you, and your wife's on the couch. I've been talking to all y'all. <laughs> Celebrate yeah. Renee's promotion. Yeah. Helping her get it in. Yeah. I'm walking by, measuring, got seven different measurements trying to, in my head. Looking like looking, great, looking looking like great for man. My, yeah, looking for my notebook, you know, trying to 79 find. 79 and 15, 16. Blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, have you seen my notebook? Nope. Last time I saw it is when you had it on top of the washing machine. Yeah, so I'm stressed out. He loses his right? own notebook and he gets mad at me. He can't find I it. was not mad at her. I was not, I don't even know what she's talking about. I'm walking by and she's like, hey, you know what you want to do for dinner? I'm like, are you kidding me? You've been sitting there for the last five hours and you haven't even thought of what you want to do for dinner? Because I can't eat the same thing y'all eat right now. I, we're not eating the same thing. What? That, what? What? I don't know what y'all want to eat. If I wanted to eat something, I would go cook it and we would all eat whatever. But I'm not. we're not eating the same things right now. What does it matter? Michael, you're fighting an uphill battle, but keep trying. <laughs> 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 Quote of the night right there. Right, right, Best right. tip ever. Yeah. I, so I ask y'all, what do y'all want to eat? Because we're not eating the same things. What? I don't know what y'all want to eat. Y'all can go out and that go makes get no sense. crap food if you want to. That makes no sense. I don't know how that all makes sense. I'm not going to cook because I don't know what you want to eat. Hopefully, you know what? Here's what's so cool, Renee. Speaking of which, hopefully he'll be celebrating like us. Tomorrow, because this will this will be one of the only times you have ever been home when I have promoted in any of my businesses. 
Yeah. Like literally the only time. Y'all, we got to make this happen, y'all. We're super close. Super duper close. That would be so cool. Yeah. You've never been home for any of my promotions. He home right now. We got to make it happen. All right. Yeah. That is what we got for you guys. That is how that all happened. It's done. Now I get to go decorate, which means I get to go shop. <laughs> I get to go shop. I get to go shop. I get to go get the things to go decorate the laundry room, right? I've been waiting for this. Like y'all, this has been needing to get done for I don't know how long. And I finally like made the decision like, okay, we have been irresponsible with our money a little bit. I won't lie. We have like put it off. Like we need to finish getting our house together. It's been two years post Harvey. It was time for us to get it done. So I was like, okay, I'm going to stop buying so much Ray Dunn and I'm going to be responsible with my money and all this. And then I was like, oh no, I got to go buy stuff to go on the stuff. We got a shelf. Now I got to put stuff on the shelf. And you said you don't care about that part. So I get to just go do it. And that's not what I meant. You said you don't care about the color and you don't care about the stuff on it and the flowers and the wreath. I'm good with nothing being on it and just showcasing my work. Because the floating shelf actually looks pretty good. You proud of that shelf? I am proud of that. It looks nice. I painted it. No, she didn't. I did! She stained. Well, that's what I mean. I stained it. She stained part of it and she stained part of the wall. We don't want to talk about that. And she stained. I told you I don't wall. I don't do well painting with stuff and on the wall. If once it's on the wall, I'm gonna mess up the wall. Or you could just try not to. I, I wasn't trying to get it on the wall. But you are trying not to. I really wasn't trying not to. I don't think you were. I you weren't even there. Uh, yes, I was. I mean you weren't paying attention. Y'all, the struggle. We need therapy. Stained part we need of the Jesus. Floor. He needs wine. The um, I didn't stain part of the floor. You stained the floor of the bathroom. Machine. I stained the washing machine. And the dryer. And that's why we get a new washing machine. She was she was, she in there has some stains looking like Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Who is Jackson Pollock? The artist. Makes oh. big canvases. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, chaos yeah, yeah. pattern paint. I don't paint that bad. But I did get stained on the wall. My bad. Anyway, hope y'all are having a good Sunday night. We're going to go hop off of here. I get to go decorate some stuff, and I got to paint some shiplap. I will post a picture of what it looks like in the comments of this live. Y'all, pray for us. We need Jesus. We need counseling. We need prayer. And Yeah, because he was a carpenter. He needs alcohol, <laughs> right? <laughs> he could cut. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah. That was precision cutting. Yeah, thank you. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.